my YouTube world. Hi, uh, YouTube subscribers. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I figured I'd make another update video. Um, I have off uh, today, tomorrow, and the next day. And I don't go back to work till nighttime, uh, Thursday night. So I've got some free time. Um, who doesn't right now uh, with quarantine? But so um as far as the pregnancy goes i've continued to be sick the first trimester was really bad as far as a lot of no like constant nausea constant uh morning sickness and sometimes you'd throw up or whatever second trimester my nausea has gotten better thank god um some of like the bloating and constipation whatever kind of went away but my migraines have gotten a lot worse uh, the second trimester the first trimester I had maybe one or two migraines um, I think I had like two the second trimester it's just like every week um, uh, I've had a migraine that takes me out for three days and what I mean by takes me out they're pretty debilitating um, I've made some videos about it before uh, you really can't do much when you have a migraine um, they're not just a headache as a lot of people think they are who've never had a migraine but anyway um, any migraine sufferer, I feel for you. I know what you're going through. Um, it really takes somebody who's been through migraines to understand how bad they are. Like, whenever I have patients that have migraines, I always feel really bad for them. Because I know what they're going through, and it sucks. But anyway, um... <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh, so, they've gotten really bad. The last one I... I started getting a headache, um, well, my headaches always turn into migraines, so I think that's why some people get confused what the difference is, and because people don't understand that migraines aren't just like a little pain, they get worse and worse and more severe until... You literally can't, you can't do anything but just lay there in pain and, you know, all your senses get affected and it's that constant pain that just, like at first it might not be too bad, but then it just keeps growing and growing and it, because it lasts for me three days long, it really, it just, it exhausts you so much. Um, but I started getting a headache uh was it yesterday I think it was um or not yesterday like the day before I I did just work three in a row um like normal and the last day I had to work I didn't sleep very good and if you follow me um interruptions with my sleep pattern really trigger my migraines so the other day I didn't sleep very good and the day before I didn't sleep good either in between shifts um, it's hard to sleep when you work night shift and like the one night I think I had coffee too late but I was falling asleep so I did that and then when I came home I was having a little trouble of getting like a restful sleep and then the, then the last day I worked I really when I came home I only slept a couple hours normally I'll sl I'll come home and on my last day I'll sleep from like 9 to 5 but the last day um, that I worked I only slept from 9 to 1 and then I so it was only like a nap and then I got up and my head was hurting me and I was really tired just didn't feel good um, and also I've been having more nausea the last couple days I threw up at work I've actually thrown up on myself at work, which is very disgusting. <sighs> and um, a pregnancy, pregnancy life for sure. I threw up, I've thrown up twice in the break room now while I'm pregnant. 
the one time it was, uh, well, both times it was like projectile. So I was like, oh my God. And the first time I did it, I just threw up. It went all over my scrubs. <sighs> I was like, I just want to go home. But the other night I was at work and I was eating and I was having a lot of nausea lately again and um, the last couple days and I again just projectile like vomited up what I was eating but luckily I made it to the bathroom but um, yeah so that's been fun um, so I pretty much I've just kind of accepted by now the, like I'm four months into this pregnancy I've just kind of accepted that I might just be one of those people that is just sick throughout their whole pregnancy and that does suck but at the same time like I'm not gonna feel guilty about it I'm not gonna be like overly worried like my doctor's aware um, luckily I don't have as of right now I haven't had any complications like high blood pressure or, um, I, you know, staying away from medications that could hurt the baby. The thing that concerns me is I am taking a lot of Tylenol and they say it's safe during pregnancy, but I'm like, oh my God, I'm taking it all the time, like several times a week. And it does worry me, like, is that going to affect the baby somehow? But supposedly it's safe. I know other people have had to take lots of Tylenol for migraines and their pregnancies and um I did take Tylenol today and coffee and that seemed to help a lot like now I feel fine and I eat food and I've just been taking it easy and I've learned at this point like unfortunately I might not get a ton done during pregnancy and that sucks because one I hate laying around <laughs> I am like the worst sick person. I hate being sick and feeling like I can't get anything done. Um, I like to be busy. I like to be like checking things off my list. And you know, there's so much you have to do when you're pregnant as far as getting prepared for the baby. But I've realized like I can only do so much. Like I'm sick. I'm not going to make myself if I can't get done everything I wanted to, oh well. The main thing if you're pregnant, I feel like, is just taking care of yourself and your baby. And don't get stressed out if you can't get everything done because you don't feel good. Because some people like me just do not have an easy pregnancy. And um, your number one priority is just getting through the pregnancy if you're somebody like me who's really sick. So just try to focus on that. There's only so much you can control with pregnancy. So that's, I've kind of accepted it. And I feel like if you just stress out about that, about being sick and stuff, it's only going to make your migraines or your nausea worse. So try to take it easy. Um, you know, get your loved ones to help out uh, as they can. I try to get done little things here or there. Like when I am feeling better, I do try to get stuff done. But I'm kind of just trying to take it easy because I obviously need to be getting rest um, when you're sick to recuperate. And I, I don't want to push myself too hard um, so that I can get my rest when I can. And that way I'm kind of better off when I'm feeling sick and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm still trying not to take a lot of naps. I think that was like a big takeaway for me is um, try not to do that so that your sleep is more regular. And although they say don't drink a lot of caffeine, for me I kind of have to to regulate my migraines. So I'm listening to my body and what it needs. Because uh, I don't think it's good to be having all these migraines while I'm pregnant either. Like, you have to weigh the risk and the benefits. And for me, I already had a high tolerance for coffee. So it's not like I'm changing my body. I think that my body didn't like me changing everything so much when I became pregnant. So I think that didn't help my migraines either. 
So, plus, once I get a migraine, what do they say to do? Like, my doctor's like, drink coffee. Well, wouldn't it just be better if I just drink coffee to prevent them in the first place? So, that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, still working. I'm trying to work up until pretty much I give labor. Um, that way I can have off as much as possible with the baby and really enjoy my time off with the baby those three months um, is what I get to have off with the baby which I feel like isn't very fair considering I mean some countries there's no maternal leave so I'm grateful for something but there's a lot of developed countries that have a lot better maternity leave than the United States and I don't think it's fair that we only get three months off with our babies like really um I feel like so much happens in the first year, so I don't like that. They only get three months off. Um, I don't really feel comfortable, like, putting my child in somebody else's hands to watch after only three months. Like, that's not an ideal situation. But hopefully we won't really have to do daycare a lot because since I work nights and my husband works days, like, somebody should always be with the baby. But I feel... I feel like at the same time, then we don't really have a break if we don't put the baby in daycare at least, like, a couple of days a week. So, <sighs> we're still trying to figure out that because I originally wanted to switch to day shift um, since I think it would be better for the baby and for the family, for our family. But my job is really trying to keep me on night shift. And with everything going on with COVID, I don't think they really want to change anything right now. And I've already talked to them about it. And they said, there's other people ahead of me and whatever. I don't know. So if I have to stay on night shift, fine, whatever. I prefer working night shift except for the baby. So we'll see what happens. Um with the daycare situation I it's hard to say because I don't want it to go to there's only like one 24-hour daycare place and I don't really like that place so it's hard to know if the kid is even going to go to daycare at all because I don't know if I'm switching to daytime or not when it could go to daycare but I'm not trying to stress out too much. I know we'll figure it out. At least I have my husband. I'm not just like a single mom raising my kid, thank God, because um, I don't have any family out here. I do have friends, but I don't have like a ton of close friends, so it's pretty much just me and my husband doing this. But luckily, we're a really good team, so... But yeah, I'm still sick. Um, just wanted to let you guys know. I am very bored still being in quarantine, um, and I'm trying to stay away from going out in public, and it's kind of easy because I'm <laughs> sick all the time, so there you go. Anyway, yeah, I've just been watching a lot of TV, I watch a lot of movies, I go on the internet probably more than I should, considering the internet is like a very <laughs> dark place right now. All the news is so negative, and I know that, but I've, I have, like, nothing else to do, so. Yeah, like, I can't, I can't do anything. I normally am, like, running a million errands and going shopping and uh, involved in a lot of activities and taking my dog to the dog park and, um, you know, going out to eat with my friends sometimes, and now it's, like, everything just totally stopped and I guess if there was a time to be quarantined right now it's kind of good in a way because one I don't know if I'd be pregnant without the quarantine and then number two like I'm kind of having to quarantine anyway because I'm sick all the time so now is a good time for me at least to be kind of bored and just stuck at home because I'm sick so it works out <laughs> It does really suck, though, when I'm working and I'm sick. Like, I hate it. The other day at work, I was nauseous. I had a headache. And I was just like, 
like I said, I vomited in the break room, and then I had to come back out, finish my shift, and I kept, like, doing that gagging crap. But luckily, my shifts this week, my first shift was pretty bad, but my other two shifts were really pretty easy, so. Um, my new unit that I'm on because of quarantine, I feel like it's easier, um, but I don't necessarily like it better, if that makes sense, because I don't feel like you're as much of a team on that floor because it is an easier floor, and um, it's kind of less exciting on that floor. There's less codes, there's less rapid responses, um, there's less like tasks you have to do. But it is kind of a nice break, especially like when I'm not feeling good and everything. Um, so I can't complain too much, but I do miss my old floor sometimes. But um, we did get the baby crib the other day. I got it from a coworker. It's a really nice crib. I'm excited to like put that together. I'm excited for when we finally can put the baby room together. I'm waiting for my husband to finish taking out the old bed and put the crib inside and then also we've been waiting too because we still don't know the gender so we find that out in two weeks I'm really excited to find out if it's a boy or girl I don't care either way although of course I do want a girl but it, I'll be happy either way so I just hope the baby's healthy considering how sick I've been and taking Tylenol and everything else like does worry me a little bit but I think I'll be fine so I'm excited to find that out um other than that not too much has been going on in my life so hope you guys are doing well um and you like this update let me know if you guys have questions or comments uh don't forget to leave them below and subscribe if you haven't already okay till next time bye guys